Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to pull the engine. We're going to pull the Onan out of here and get it running again. I didn't need to pull the engine, but I need to work on this at my house. I didn't have room for the tractor, so the reason why I pulled the engine is because I got room for an engine, not for a tractor. I'm out here again, working on the Bolins QT16. Uh, you saw in a previous video we got it running, however it's not running any longer. I think uh, the carb got clogged up from just junk in the line. At this point, I think I'm just going to rebuild the carburetor. I don't have room for another tractor at my house, so I think what I'm going to do is pull the engine, we'll take the engine home, and uh, do whatever we got to do to get the thing running. So watch and I'll show you how to pull a, own an engine out of a QT16. <clears throat> I have done this before. It's been a while. It's been at least 20 years. Um, essentially what we have to do here is we need to disconnect the drive shaft, um, adapter from the flywheel that's going to release the drive shaft there's also four nuts and bolts holding the engine onto the engine mounts we'll take those off uh, the chokes already disconnected we're going to disconnect the throttle cable what else uh, we'll disconnect this uh, uh, 12 volt line to the coil disconnect the rectifier for the charging system and disconnect the front PTO clutch. Honestly, I think that is it. So this really shouldn't be that big of a deal. Also, it's a good idea to take the battery out. Um, that's at least gonna give you some more room to take off that adapter to the flywheel. Another option you could have on these tractors is if you take off these nuts and bolts here, there's four of those, in four corners. Those are uh, the mounts for the cradle for the engine. You could disconnect them there at those easier accessible points and just pull the whole engine and cradle out. I mentioned I last took this thing out about 20 years ago. At that time, I could uh, manhandle it and pull the thing out. We're going to see if I still can do that today. I don't know. Okay, throttle cable is disconnected. Looks like we got a 3.8 socket here. Man. So these connectors are getting brittle from age, and I'm sure uh, sitting outside hasn't helped anything. So when I put these back together, we might be putting new connectors on there. They look pretty nasty, too. As I mentioned, this is for the front PTO clutch right here. I guess something else we're going to have to take off is the uh, cable to the starter as well. Uh, so I think where we're at now, I think we're going to remove the bolts from the cradle. Now that I'm in it this far, I know what's going to happen. We're going to take this engine home. I'm going to show you how we get it running again. I'll probably even make it nice and neat looking. Maybe we'll repaint it. And then because we're going to have a nice looking engine, I'm not going to stick it back in the tractor. We're going to have to clean up the tractor so that it's worthy of putting the engine in it. So now that I'm looking at these engine mounts and where they're at, it's going to be really difficult for me to get wrenches in there plus a camera. Um, there's just not really good room for both. So I'm going to remove these uh, four nuts that's what's going to release the engine, and I'll show you as we pull it out. Second thought. Now, I'm starting to remember some things. I'm going to release the engine mounts up at the top, four points, and we'll pull the whole cradle out. When I was doing this 20 years ago, I didn't have nice tools like this, like a nice cordless impact. Makes it so much quicker. And then I think last, we just got to take off this flywheel adapter. Man. Oh, geez. Whew. I really had those tighten on there. This is where it would be nice to have like a little ratchet wrench. Ah. 
I think at this point I'm ready to pull this thing. I'm sure uh, my back's gonna be hurting tomorrow. When I was, uh, I guess I was a teenager when I did this last, I just pulled it out of here like it was nothing. Oh geez, I can't even move it. Oh man. It's uh, more heavier and awkward than I remember. I must have been a beast when I was young. Gee whiz. All right, I forgot something. I don't think it's gonna make that big of a difference in getting the engine out of here, but it is kind of important. So on the front of the engine, we have the electric PTO clutch. There's also the spring tensioner here, which I kind of forgot about. So you gotta take the spring off the tensioner pulley. Like, like so. Now, take those belts off of there. So essentially the belts were, you know, keeping us attached. Uh, we'll see how this goes. Maybe this makes me feel a little bit better about my strength. The Onan has been extracted. Oh my gosh. Please don't fall off. I knew that was going to happen. Just one of those days. It's tough. It'll be fine. Hopefully. I'm not going to record this part. Sometimes making videos and getting those shots, it's kind of difficult when you're trying to do hard work. Give me a like and a comment.